right, Coach, that's a, a tough result, especially when it seemed like your team uh, came out with some purpose to here tonight. Yeah, I loved our start. I mean, uh, we came out and the, all four lines were buzzing and uh, we had a number of looks, you know, and, uh, you know, Dawes was making some, 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 some early saves there to keep them in the game. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, you get a, you get a penalty and they, they were able to capitalize at the end of the, the PK. And uh, all of a sudden the tide, you know, tide turns pretty quickly. And the second goal I thought was offside. Uh, the third goal hits the linesman. So next thing you know, they get a little bit of a break on the entry and goes off of Albano skate. Uh, and you're fighting from behind again, you know, but uh, again, a little bit of resolve there. And, um, you know, I certainly didn't want to be frustrated after the first period because I thought we were the better team. I thought uh, we were doing some good things. And the uh, second period as well tilted the ice and were able to get it back at 5-3. So uh, maybe ran a little bit of energy there in the third. But, uh, you know, overall, you know, I thought Dawes, uh, you know, except for the Sokolov goal, I thought he, he played, he was the difference maker in the game tonight. It was almost a franchise record in shots for. What do you attribute that kind of offensive outburst to? Was there a, a, a planned mindset to kind of put a lot of pucks on that? Not really. I mean, I think we just, there's some opportunities, and I, I still think we passed out some opportunities. You know, if you think about uh, the fifth goal there on the breakaway, you know, Thompson's got it right there in the middle of the the, the area with two, two net presence, and he, he tries to make another, you know, a, a move at the blue line, so to speak. So uh, I thought we certainly passed up some opportunities. Uh, to even get to 50, you know, um, but uh, overall, you know, uh, we were hitting the second wave off the rush and uh, uh, did a lot of good things in uh, Ozo play tonight. Uh, Antoine Bebo probably needed a night off with how much he's played. Was there a, any consideration to maybe putting him in again tonight? Unfortunately not, uh, just because of the game tomorrow. Uh, if we would have had to the day off, uh, he probably would have went in, uh, probably at 3 nothing. You know, uh, certainly would have tried to change the momentum of the game there. But, you know, 3-3, uh, three and three, going into Toronto tomorrow, and uh, you're thinking, well, geez, you know, we've got to somehow hopefully get four to six this weekend. And, uh, you know, you're just hoping that, uh, you know, Mando could find his game and, uh, and make a couple saves to keep us in the game. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, just with the scheduling, um, it didn't make any sense at the time to, to make the decision there to, to pull uh, Mando. Uh, you get to turn the page uh, relatively quickly here. How nice is that for this club? I, I know you said they didn't uh, play bad tonight, but just to, to get back in, in action tomorrow so quickly. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a three and three for both teams, so uh, a little bit of equal footing. I mean, obviously we got to travel a little bit, but um, you know, three and threes are not easy. It's, it's more of a mental approach to the game in terms of fatigue and and just play, trying to play the right way as much as you can. So. Uh, hopefully Bebo gives us a good effort down there and uh, you know we can somehow get the two points and, and, and get four to six you know we've been hovering around that 500 mark and certainly thought we played well enough tonight to, to win the game and get above 500 but uh, it wasn't in the cards so you just got to turn the page pretty quickly there and go down tomorrow and try and finish the week off the right way. Uh, your power play continues to click. Uh, Angus Crookshank, a nice uh, redirection there in the slot. What have you seen from him? Uh, he's got four goals or four points his last four games. Well, Crooker's uh, not afraid to go to the blue paint. You know, he's one of the, the guys that uh, knows where the scoring area is, and that was a set play. And uh, Luce did a real nice job finding his, uh, his stick there, and uh, good things happen when you go to that area. And, uh, you know, he's tenacious on the puck and uh, really was the main driving force on that uh, Sokolov goal as well because he got in there in the forecheck, uh, created the turnover. Luce got in there pretty quickly and made the play to, to Sokolov. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, I, I think his game is coming along and uh, we just got to continue to preach, um, you know, his play away from the puck because ultimately that's what's going to get him to the NHL. Are you anticipating any other lineup changes tomorrow other than Bebo? Yeah, we're going to make a couple changes tomorrow, but uh, you know we're going to talk about it tonight. But I think we're going to make ones, you know, get Cutler in there. He hasn't played this weekend, so three and three for both teams. You know, he should be fresh and give us some energy. And we're going to make a, a change on the on the back end as well. Thanks, coach. Okay, thanks, guys.